Hey guys, it's Barrett here. I wanted to do a, another video today going over everything I've done to my 2003 Silverado here. For those of you who don't know, it's an 03 Silverado extended cab. It's got the 5.3 V8 in it. And uh, I'm just about to hit 250,000 miles here. And I'm gonna go over everything that I've done to it. We'll start off with the suspension. So it's got bigger torsion keys. It has the two inch front level on it. And then if we look in here, it does have the kryptonite control arms and the kryptonite sway bar end links. Um, I've also had to do idler, pitman arms, tie rods. Um, but when I did those, I didn't know about kryptonite yet. So I've basically redone the whole front end suspension for the most part. And then on here right now, I don't remember the model, but I got TIS wheels. They're 22 by 12 with, I believe, a negative 51 offset. So... As you can see, they're decently wide. Um, no spacers on this thing. It's just the offset of the wheel that makes them stick out super far. And then I do have the Nitto 420 kind of street tires on it. You know, summer's coming to an end here and I live in Colorado and I do not want to be caught in the snow with those Nitto 420s. So I'm going to be going back to the stock wheels with the 33 inch mud tires I have. They've just been sitting in my garage this whole time. Um, I do rub a decent amount. It's a 33 inch tire. Um, but just the offset makes it rub. I trimmed about that much, a little bit of the chrome and a lot on the valance. And it doesn't rub on the front anymore unless I hit like a major bump. And then on the back, it's weird. It doesn't rub when I do full crank left turn, but when I do full crank to the right, it does rub on the back on the right side quite a bit. That's the only con to having a 1500 is they sit about two inches lower on the frame than like a 25 or 3500 would. So I think if I had a 2500, I could get away with uh, no rubbing or like barely rub. Also, as you can tell, I've done a bunch of LEDs on this truck. I got the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors there. Got some eBay headlights. And then on the back of the truck here, I got LED aftermarket taillights, third brake light license plate lights, pretty much every bulb on this whole truck is LED. Um, even on the interior, I do have some as well. Got the LED door lights in there. Got the ones on the ceiling. The only thing that isn't LED is like pretty much the whole dash. And then I do have the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. And then on the front end here, just besides the lights, I also did get a new lower valance. The old one used to be like a light gray. I don't know why they made them like that from factory. It just looks faded and like shit. So I got the newer, darker valance there. It's got a black Chevy bow tie. I did paint the grill black here. It's kind of chipping a little bit in places. And then I do also have a transmission cooler I put in there. I did that after I got my new transmission. Um, these 4L60s, they're good transmissions if you baby them, but if you're constantly like beating on it or if you add any power to these trucks, they cannot handle it stock. So I got a built transmission put in this thing. The stock transmission blew up at about 245,000 miles. So it's got a built aftermarket 4L60. It's got some heavy duty clutches in it. And then I do have the transmission cooler now to help with that. I do plan to add some more power to this thing, and uh, I just don't want any problems with the transmission. And then for some other small stuff, I do have a bullet antenna. It's got 5% tint all around. And then on the back here, I do have an MBRP aftermarket catback exhaust. Nothing crazy. It's probably one of the most quiet aftermarket exhausts you can get on these trucks. It's got a pretty big muffler still. But uh, if you rev it, it's got a little crackle to it. Nothing crazy, but as you can tell, the idle is barely louder than stock, if anything. Then just some other small stuff. I did put these bushwhacker kind of bed cover plastic pieces on. And then I did put the rough country wheel well liners, but just a bunch of little stuff. And then one other thing I did was I did take off the stock door trim. I think it looks so much better and smooth without the crappy plastic just kind of stuck on there. I've pretty much done all of the cosmetic stuff I can do to this truck. I kind of do want to paint match some of the plastics on the bumper, door handles, maybe the tow mirrors. But I mean, the black plastic matches the 
dark gray paint close enough already so it's really not that big of a deal to me if the truck was like red or something I would definitely do it right away and then the next big thing I want to do to this truck now that I have the built transmission I got the transmission cooler and the exhaust on here so I want to get this thing cammed I've been looking at a truck Norris cam because I definitely want to add some power to this thing get it closer maybe over 400 to start I would absolutely love to do some long tube headers, but unfortunately I live in a county where you gotta get emissions done, so that wouldn't end well. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, comment your thoughts on this down below, and make sure to subscribe while you're down there. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.